XRP is one of those coins you don't want to miss out on because it has so much potential. We often refer to XRP as the real deal biscuit coin because it is no Triscuit. And if you're a Robinhood user, you're probably asking yourself why it's not available to buy. Sadly, the answer to this is pretty simple, and it's because Robinhood is not the greatest place for buying crypto. It's almost laughable how little coins they have available for trading. When so many other exchanges offer well over 100 plus, they've also made no announcements to support the XRP army by listing the coin anytime soon, which is a bit sad. Honestly, most Robinhood users are better off sticking to the stock trading portion. Okay, so then where is a good place to buy XRP right now? The answer is Uphold. I've been using Uphold for the last couple of years now to stack a nice little side chunk of XRP, as you can see here. While some people feel uncomfortable holding this many coins on an exchange, I have the utmost confidence in them, which is why I have my bags packed. And as far as this exchange, Uphold offers a user-friendly trading experience, and customers can make trades via its desktop platform or mobile apps, which are both available on Android or iOS. The user interface is intuitive for those who are new to making trades, which could make it a good option for those just getting started with crypto. Unlike many competitors, Uphold offers the ability to trade within asset classes, making this platform stand out. Users may also set up reoccurring purchases using Uphold's autopilot option, which uses dollar cost averaging to help mitigate some of the volatility of trading in the cryptocurrency market. However, this platform offers only one order type, limit orders. Those looking for more additional or advanced order types will want to look elsewhere. Furthermore, the platform doesn't have advanced charting and other features that are often desired by some traders. As far as fees on Uphold, they can vary. While Uphold offers 0% trading commissions, it charges spread fees for cryptocurrency purchases and sales that customers make on the platform. These spread fees are relatively high and can range from 0.8% to 1.2% for popular cryptocurrencies, and can go beyond this range for lower liquidity cryptocurrencies. Uphold also indicates spread fees may increase during times of market volatility. There are no withdrawal or deposit fees for personal accounts, although crypto network fees might apply when withdrawing to an external wallet, as they would with any provider. We would also like to point out, if you want to get started here at any point, you can take advantage of some sign-up bonuses and resources directly below in the description. And, most importantly, we need to talk about the security on here. Fortunately, Uphold offers industry-standard security measures, including KYC verification and two-factor authentication. The majority of users' funds are held offline in cold storage, which is generally more secure than storing funds online in hot wallets. This company also provides users with basic guidance on security's best practices and how to recognize and avoid scams. In addition, Uphold employs a bug bounty program through Integrity, a third-party security company. Through this program, users can report bugs they've encountered when using Uphold. Staff members are also required to undergo background checks and participate in routine privacy training to help promote platform security. Of course, if you guys are interested in stacking more XRP, we will have some bonus and resource links below in the description for getting started. And lastly, we'd like to recommend four coins that we also believe have a lot of potential to increase in price in the next couple of years, starting with Engine. Engine is a software that gives developers the ability to create and manage virtual goods on the Ethereum blockchain. The idea is that by using blockchain technology to manage in-game items across many different properties, Engine can help reduce the high fees and fraud that have plagued the transfer of virtual in-game goods and collectibles. Toward that goal, Engine has released software development kits, allowing users to both create digital assets on Ethereum and integrate them into games and apps. Each minted asset is customizable to fit the desired platform and recorded in a smart contract, giving the items the advantages of cryptocurrency, namely speed, cost, and security. Central to managing the digital asset on its platform is ENJ, Engine's cryptocurrency, and each in-game item created on Engine is assigned a value in ENJ. Bottom line, the price on this coin is very undervalued and could skyrocket at any given moment. Second, we have SushiSwap. SushiSwap is a software running on Ethereum that seeks to incentivize a network of users to operate a platform where users can buy and sell crypto assets. Similar to platforms like Uniswap and Balancer, SushiSwap uses a collection of liquidity pools to achieve this goal. 
Users first lock up assets into smart contracts, and traders then buy and sell cryptocurrencies from those pools, swapping out one token for another. One of a growing number of decentralized finance platforms, SushiSwap allows users to trade cryptocurrencies without the need for a central operator administrator. This means that decisions relating to SushiSwap software are made by its holders of its native cryptocurrency, Sushi. Anyone holding a balance of the asset can propose changes on how it operates and vote on submitted proposals by other users. Next, we have Polkadot. Polkadot is a software that seeks to incentivize a global network of computers to operate a blockchain on top of which users can launch and operate their own blockchains. In this way, Polkadot is one of a number of competing blockchains aiming to grow an ecosystem of cryptocurrencies. Other notable examples, of which include Ethereum and Cosmos, however Polkadot launched more recently, is among the newest and introduces a number of novel technical features towards its ambitious goal. To begin, Polkadot is designed to operate two types of blockchains, a main network called a relay chain, where transactions are permanent, and user-created networks called parachains. Parachains can be customized for a number of uses and feed into the main blockchain, so that parachain transactions benefit from the same security of the main chain. With this design, the Polkadot team contends transactions can be kept secure and accurate, using only the computing resources required to run the main chain. Users, though, gain the added benefit of being able to customize many parachains for many different uses. The Polkadot team believes this design will let its users perform transactions more privately and efficiently, creating blockchains that don't disclose user data to the public network or that otherwise process a greater number of transactions. To date, Polkadot has raised roughly $200 million from investors across two sales of its DOT cryptocurrency, making it one of the most well-funded blockchain projects in history. Fourth, we have the basic attention token. Many internet users go out of their way to avoid online advertisements, but what if they had a monetary incentive to view them? Basic attention token is a cryptocurrency intended to create a virtuous cycle around digital advertising that is equitable for creators and consumers. Running on Ethereum and integrated natively on a custom web browser called Brave, BAT can be exchanged between advertisers, publishers, and internet users based on their web activity and is intended to streamline commerce between all three groups. Users are rewarded with BAT for viewing ad content. Publishers can deliver higher impact ads and advertisers can be assured their messaging is being viewed by a willing audience. The end result is a new kind of digital advertising platform powered by BAT. Users can either hold the BAT, exchange it for cash or other cryptocurrency, or pay it to support their favorite content creators. We hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching it, and we will see you all in the next crypto video.